guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping in today. We are starting out this video in my car, which obviously means we're going thrifting today. I'm so excited because it has been a very, very, very long time since I have thrifted in another place besides Nashville. I've mentioned this in passing before, but I have a full-time nine to five job. I have been working remotely for the past three years out of my home office in Nashville, but my office is based in Tampa. And so I have not been in the office in a little less than a year, basically since last March like right before the pandemic hit and I typically will go back into the office like every month or so so that is why I'm here not to be on vacation but to be here for my job but I figured I had a little bit of time uh, this afternoon to go thrifting I used to come here all the time and thrift and I love the thrifting here the prices are super great and I love that they have a lot of smaller thrift stores so today I'm going to be taking you to a couple of them I am parked out front of what is it called life's treasures thrift store and it looks so cute I've never been in here before so I'm excited to check out a new thrift store take you guys along with me I'm not really looking for anything in particular I'm definitely getting that like spring itch and so I'll probably start to kind of look at pieces that are for warmer weather but other than that I do not have a plan I just have a plan to go thrifting and to take you guys along so let's head on into life's treasures thrift store and see what treasures we can find so before we head on into the thrift store I want to introduce today's video sponsor which is Skillshare I am so excited to partner with them because I have been using Skillshare actually for the past six months or so if you aren't familiar with Skillshare they are an amazing online learning community with thousands of classes so it's geared toward creatives but I really feel like anybody can find something that they are interested in on Skillshare. They have a ton of classes ranging from film and photography, graphic design, lifestyle, which kind of does like hands-on crafts or like cookie making. I definitely had a goal this year to kind of step up my game when it comes to bringing you guys videos and just continuing that growth. So one of the main classes that I have been taking that I've really liked is in the film and photography category and it is called the Cinematography Basics Understanding Filmmaking Style class and it's taught by Zach Mulligan. So I feel like that has been such a different perspective than I've kind of had creating videos for you guys. The annual membership is less than $10 a month so I feel like it's really affordable especially because they offer new classes every month totally ad free so I feel like there's always something to look forward to always a new class that you can kind of dive into and explore having Skillshare as a community to kind of lean into I get to connect with teachers and other members on their new live courses or I've also just been exploring a lot of their other classes to kind of help re-inspire me and help like motivate me and feel like the videos I'm bringing people are meaningful and that I have some sort of personal growth. So if you want to explore your creativity with me, the first 1000 people to use the link in my description box below will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership. All right, now let's go thrifting. It looks super cute and small. I will say some of the prices seem a little bit high compared to the other thrift stores I have been to in the area. So we'll see how long we spend here just because I know that right down the street is a really good thrift store that I always go to that's like super cheap, which we're here for a good deal, guys. But we will definitely take a look around the store and see what we can find. I just found a shirt that like I have been looking for online for so long there's like kind of y2k mesh tops this is a little banana Republic mesh top it has I always forget what this is called remind me what it what this is called in the comments below it has kind of like the frilly edges and I love this kind of like marbly design to it super good find So 
silky J. Crew dress. The colors are really pretty. I don't know how flattering it would be. Like, I don't know if it's kind of that awkward length or it's like not quite a midi length. Goodness, guys, this is a little 90s like short and tank top set. It has like the cute little elastic shorts. This is $8 for a two piece set. I feel like that's pretty good, like $4 each for that. And this print is so good. It reminds me of Holiday the Label. So I feel like this is so on trend and so cute. I'm definitely putting this in my cart. Right behind that, I found this Robbie B silk set. It's so pretty i love this hot magenta color i don't know if these pants like how they'll fit they might be a little short for my liking i'm gonna try this because it's so cute imagine like this tied up it would be so cute for the summertime with some like funky sandals so again eight dollars for this i feel like that's a really good deal especially because it's silk okay and then right behind that i found this petite sophisticate uh this is at ten dollars for this like long blazer and dress. It's very Parisian to me, like very sophisticated, but I love that it's like a short dress. So it's kind of trendy too. So I'm gonna try this one and see if it fits. It's a vintage six, so I think it'll be perfect for me. I just think this is so cool. And you get like a blazer and a dress out of it. Guys, I feel like I'm finding so many good sets in like 90s and kind of like early 2000s stuff today. This is a $10 set from Ronnie Nicole, which is one of my favorite brands to find. It's missing a couple little beads in a couple spots, but I love this so much. She's definitely getting tried on. I seriously need a cart, guys. My basket is already full. What do we think of these? They are my size. Super cute, but they feel so tight, even though they're my size. So I'm gonna pass on these. It's just, they're not comfortable. I probably wouldn't wear them, but are really cute. No, I love a good tiger print moment and this is so cute. It's like a midi little tiger print skirt and it has the slit there. I think this will fit me like perfectly. She's going in the cart too. Vintage Calvin Sport, it is dead stock which means it's vintage and brand new still has the tags on it let's see how much they want for it eight dollars i mean i do feel like that's a little pricey but like i love this it's like the perfect gold stripe with like the ringer sleeve i think i'm gonna put this in my cart guys i can't say no look at this hot pink vintage top the ruffle the collar Alicia. I love that color. I feel like I just wouldn't end up wearing it often, but it is so good. I think I'm gonna pass on it. Well guys, I just heard that it's 50% off everything. The shoes and clothes today. So, now I feel like I need to get more, but no, I should just keep what I have. This place is amazing if you consider that things are 50% off today. Like, yes. Whoever had this top, they had it in two different colors. So funny. Look at this silk vintage top. I mean, it, it almost looks like it could be a modern top, but it's the tag. Definitely is vintage. 100% silk made in Korea. So this would be $3. It has like the puff sleeve. Um, it looks like an elastic band. I would say this is definitely 80s. I love this. I'm nearing the end, but I'm gonna look through some of these jackets they have here. I feel like I don't find a ton of jackets because we're in Florida, but sometimes you end up finding some really good stuff because people aren't looking for jackets as much here. Guys, I am obsessed with this crocheted little beret. How fun is that in the color? I know this is very bright and outspoken, but I feel like I'm just like on a kick with like color right now. I love this and it would only be $1.50. Love it. This 
is a really nice bag. Like it is suede, real suede. Let's see how much they want. Four ninety nine. So this would be two fifty. Should I get this for two fifty, guys? I mean, I feel like this is such a good, like practical bag, and it's vintage, but it definitely looks very modern, which is what I look for in vintage. I don't want it to look like I just walked straight out of the decade, but this is so good. First time I've been into a dressing room in months, like probably almost a year. I'm not gonna try on everything, but I might try on some of those sets that have the two piece just so I can make sure they fit before we head on over to the next stop. pieces I was a little bit iffy about on whether they would fit or not and I tried to weed things out but I loved everything and also they were all a really good deal so I'm gonna check out we're gonna head to another stock before we close this all out and I will give you guys a final haul and styling of everything at the end so don't you worry if I didn't try it on now you will see it at the end of the video guys this table that they have just like for people to put their stuff on as you check out I'm pretty sure it's not for sale these go for so much money I cannot believe they have this here. I told them to ask if it is for sale because I, I mean, I would keep it here and come get it at some other time. They would not sell me the table. They were like, it's not for sale. Ah! Loved it. I am blown away by that thrift store and that's why I love going to small thrift stores is because there's less stuff to sift through so i feel like you almost can like find the gems easier we are now going to head on over to sunshine thrift which is the thrift store i always go to while i'm here the prices are amazing the selection is really good so let's go head on over to sunshine thrift and see if we can find any more gems today Oh my gosh, guys, I am just, there has been no sense of normalcy in the last year and coming back to one of my old stomping grounds feels like some sense of normalcy. So I'm so excited to be in this thrift store right now. I'm gonna start in the blazers and we'll see what we can find. I don't have a ton of time, as I said, so when I am going quickly through the thrift store, I will look for things to just like pop out at me instead of really okay, sifting yeah. through everything. Okay. So I typically look for colors, textures, patterns, or just like go based off of how things feel. And hopefully we can find some pretty good stuff that way. I found this 90s like ditzy floral dress. It's a pretty maxi length. I think it's really cool. It might be a little bit big, but I think that this would be a perfect dress to build. You could do this like with sandals in the summer or you could do this with like a blue and a jacket or like a cardigan in the winter and it's only $3.45 so she's going in the cart. Alright, so I've just found that dress so far. I've looked through the shoes and the long dresses as well as the purses and I'm going to check out the tank tops now, which I know is like a little bit out of season, but I always feel like Florida has the best like summer wear. a couple of basic tank tops which I actually think are really good in the summer and spring to just wear like your more loud pants. I know that the tank tops that have like the racer front were really popular and I am loving them still so I actually found this bodysuit. It's only $3.45 and I feel like this is just such a good basic and then I found basically another sort of one like that it's from Tibby. It's just a really good heather gray um, and it's $2.45. So now we're going to look in these sweaters and jackets. <music> Wait, do we love this? I love this pattern. I love this pattern. This is so fun. 
This one is also $3.45. I feel like I already own several of these cream table knit sweaters, but this is like a 90s J. Crew like, cotton. I love these. If you find them, get them. I already have a couple, so I don't need it, but it's so good. And this is only $4.95. Like, I see people selling these for so much. This is such a good sweater. Wrapping up here at Sunshine Thrift, I am going to go through these long sleeve shirts and then we'll weed through some of the pieces that I've found and head out. I'm going to quickly just hold things up and see if I want them. Everything I got was like, I think under $4. So I think I'm gonna grab this. I love this pattern, it's so fun, $3.45. This one I definitely know I'd get a lot of wear out of. It's only $3.45, so I'm gonna take her home. I threw this dress on over my jumpsuit, so it looks a little funky, but I just feel like the fit isn't good. I don't love this top part either. I feel like it's like gaping a little bit, as you can see. So I'm gonna leave it behind. Whew, honestly cannot believe my hairstyle made it through <laughs> all of that. But we are done. Two thrift stores in two hours. I feel like that was a record for me. And honestly, that first thrift store was where it was at. So that is it for the thrifting portion of this video. Now I'm going to take you guys home and style all of these amazing pieces up. I will see you then. All right, friends, I am back from Tampa. I have put a bunch of looks together with these outfits and I'm going to give you a whole haul now of everything styled up so you can get some outfit inspiration. I have many looks to show you guys, so many. So let's just get into it. First up is this just like electric magenta set. Oh my God, guys. You guys know how obsessed I am with pink and I love how high quality this outfit is. This is a 100% silk set and I think with the 50% off, it ended up being $4, which is insane. I paired these light blue slides with it and I really just wanted to go all out color with this look. I paired this like early 2000s colorful beaded bag. I just think it's so fun. Just did a simple gold hoop earring. Finding sets, especially that's in your style and in your size, is really difficult and so this one just hit so many of my faves. It's silk, so it's high quality. It's my size, it's my style. Love this color. And it just like fits so perfectly. The next piece is so fabulous and I feel like this is basically a great example of how I love vintage, but I always want it to be styled a bit more modern and also maybe have a little bit more of a modern feel. This really could be a modern top. People probably wouldn't even think that it is vintage, but if I had styled it in a way that felt a little bit more true to that 80s fashion, I think it would have felt pretty dated. So what I did was tuck it into these mid-rise super light wash 90s jeans, a pair of 90s and Taylor little kitten heels with a square toe, and then a 90s 90s little baguette shoulder bag. I think this shirt ended up being $1.50 or $2, which is insane. Super happy with this piece. Love the polka dots, love the little puff sleeves. It is just perfection. The 90s businesswoman has arrived. This is definitely a little bit more of a sassy styling. To be honest, I don't even know where I'd wear this right now, but if I was really going to style this in its full glory, I would probably wear it with these super tall these little stiletto heels that have a slight snakeskin print to them. And I love how it pairs with this dark navy little set. It's definitely like a very sleek, almost like Parisian vibe to me, but it gives off this like sexiness in a way. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, the legs are popping and I feel like it was really on trend with that kind of like 90s vibe. So did another little 90s baguette bag with it. Have these dainty drop heart earrings. And then I normally wouldn't keep my braids, but I didn't want to undo them. I just put my hair up like this. This is how I'd imagine styling this with like 
a little banana clip. So this was an awesome find, especially for $5. The next outfit, ignore how wrinkly my pants are. So the piece that I picked up was that dead stock Calvin Klein sport, like striped ringer team. And it's a bit oversized, so I feel like it goes really well with some like wide leg crop pants for my shoes. I did a really kind of cozy little mule. And then I have a couple pieces that I added to this look that are from a vintage shop. She sent me a couple things. Her shop is Indigo Ivy Apparel. I will link her shop below along with another shop that I got a couple things with. So I have a few other goodies that you guys haven't seen, which is exciting. And one of the pieces she sent me was this incredible, I am so obsessed with this like cognac leather patchwork bag and then with this I would probably throw on like an oversized denim button down here I threw on the oversized again more patchwork with like this cute little pink embroidery design on it denim button down this is also from indigo ivy apparel she sent me a bunch of really good stuff but i love how this whole look came out i am back with another fabulous early 2000s set beading here and then the beading on the hem of the pant leg is honestly just like what makes this piece so fun. I definitely think it would be a bit more modernized if it was more of a cropped fit. So I think I'm actually going to crop it myself. But honestly, this piece is so good. I did these fringe earrings and then this vintage beaded handbag. And then these are my M. Jimmy sandals. I thought they paired really nicely with the style of this set. And I think this set ended up being four or five dollars. So this outfit is just doing the most for me right now. I love this. This look is something I literally would walk out of the house in right this second. It's the perfect kind of neutral wintry look and the piece that I'm styling up is the little bag I got. This was such a good deal. I think it ended up being two dollars for this leather bag so i paired it with a more neutral look i have this kind of slouchy sweater on also from indigo ivy apparel and tuck that into these thrifted pair of like paper bag waist jeans paired a simple boot and that is the whole look we have transitioned into a full-on summer look this set it is incredible so good i think it was four or five dollars as well this is a true 90s cotton set again tied it up to kind of make it a little bit more modern so i paired it with a good little 60s market bag that i thrifted and of course brought back my good old chunky doc martin sandals that i wear all the time in the spring and summer. So excited about this piece. Like maybe one of my favorites of the whole haul. I just think it's so fun, so good for summer. I'm ready guys. Back to neutrals. You never know what you're gonna get on this channel. So you know I love the crazier pieces, but I also love a good neutral because they are such like staples to an outfit. So obviously I could just wear this outfit as is, have my Levi's rib cage jeans on, a little backpack that can also be a purse, and then my same Zara boots. But as I said, I think that these basic pieces can be such easy like canvases to basically put with any outfits. I have two jackets that I just wanna throw on top of this so you guys can see kind of how versatile a piece like this can be. So first I threw on this quilted like prairie style jacket. I love the crop of this and just how it changes the whole vibe of the look. We have a little bit more of like a Western cottage core vibe going on. This is one of the pieces that was sent to me by a vintage shop. Her shop is called ri.reclaimed on Instagram. So I will link her shop below. She has such good pieces. And the next piece from ri.reclaimed is this wool jacket. I love the like seam detail and how it wraps around the bottom of the hem and these like silver buttons. Again, this now makes this look totally different. This looks really chic, neutral, and love how just like this black tank top can be such a canvas for literally any type of look. Oh guys, this top, I almost forgot about this. It was my first find at the first thrift store and I love it so much. It's so trendy. Kind of did a little bit more of a 
90s-ish styling with them. I did a black jean, have these white contrasting stitch on there. My pink Liz Claiborne little baguette bag that I got on ThreadUp. I topped off the look with my Tommy Hilfiger boots. Love the chunky heel and the square toe of them. So I think this shirt ended up being $4 and it was just fate. It was meant to be that this shirt came home with me. I had a lot of fun putting this next look together. It feels very me because I love a good tiger print and this like column style tiger print skirt with the little slit on the side is perfection. I think this piece ended up being $4. So it was an immediate add to cart moment. I styled it up with some color. I have this really like icy blue turtleneck sweater and then tucked it into the skirt a little bit and then I paired my Steve Madden thrifted baby pink fanny pack with this. Thought it was really good just to kind of sling on over. And then my white kitten heel point toe boots that I love wearing with midi skirts. I think that is such a fun styling. So was really, really excited about this and I just feel like it's so fun to style up tiger print. Love it. So this next piece is one that you guys have not seen yet and it is another piece from Indigo Ivy Apparel. This gorgeous houndstooth like kind of secretary style skirt, but it has pockets, it has belt loops, so I added a belt to the top to kind of cinch it in a little bit. I definitely grunged it up a bit. I first added this cropped hoodie, added on my vintage Levi's jacket and my pink beanie for a little bit of color, and then obviously had to top it off with my Doc Martin Leona boots feel like they were just the perfect addition to this. Gave a little bit of heel height, which I needed, and then just added to that grunge sort of effect. And I feel like this is such a fun look. Very unexpected, but like cool at the same time. Oh, all right guys, we are nearing the end. I know this is probably like the longest haul that I've ever done, so bear with me. This is the sweater vest that I got from the second stop, and I love this piece. So this is an 80s sweater vest. It has all these stripes and then like kind of a faux sort of argyle print on there. I layered it over a button down. Those same kind of 90s light wash jeans to kind of modernize it a bit and then I did a loafer these are from Everlane that I got on thread up and then a thrifted faux alligator print bag love this little satchel that I got at Goodwill and I think this one ended up being less than five dollars from the second stop all right guys we have finally reached the final outfit and the piece I'm styling up is what I believe is a hand crocheted beret. Derek said I looked like a little candy corn in this. I'm here for it, I'll take it. it has the cutest little pom pom up here. So I have this incredible 70s orange trench coat. It's one of my favorite finds ever. With the orange trench coat and the orange hat, it is a lot. I wanted to keep everything pretty neutral, so I just layered a white turtleneck underneath this that was thrifted, a pair of sort of micro houndstooth pants, and then my same brown Zara boots. This is such a fun look. I just need somewhere to go in it now. Whew, I know that was a long one. I am like sweating from how many outfits I just put on for you guys, but thanks for sticking around until the end. I hope you guys enjoyed coming thrifting with me and some of my favorite places in Tampa. Let me know if you have a favorite piece below. I honestly don't think I could choose because there were so many good ones and they were all such a great price. I don't think anything I purchased was over $5, which is insane. So if you're in Tampa, you must check out those thrift stores. They are must stops. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would love to have you back around here. I post videos every Thursday and we just have a good ass time on this channel, guys. If you want more thrifty content in your life, then you can follow me over on Instagram at TaylorMadeStyle. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,